going to take care of us? Oh, let me say that one more time. Don't you realize that just like you take care of your parents, these young folk are going to take care of us? Oh, you say what you want to. Yeah, I'm going to tell them when they're wrong, but shucks, I'm going to be their friend. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to tell them when they're going outside of the area they should be in. I'm going to tell them when they're barking up the wrong tree, walking down the wrong road, but I'm going to still throw my arms around them and let them know you got a friend you can come to. If you're trying to make it up, if I can't pull you up, let me get behind you and give you a good push. So finally, Dr. Bethune says we have a responsibility to our young people. She says, if I have a legacy to leave my people, it is my philosophy of living and serving. As I face tomorrow, I am content. For I think I have spent my life well. I pray now that my philosophy may be helpful to those who share my vision of wor a world of peace, progress, brotherhood, and love. Yes, Dr. McClune left us a wonderful legacy. Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune left us a wonderful valedictory. As good as it was, I got some folk right now looking at me saying, Reverend, that was nice, but there wasn't no sermon. Well, no sermon because you didn't have no Bible in it. Uh, right. Amen, somebody. Amen. So for those of you who must have some Bible in your sermon, <laughs> Proverbs chapter 13, right. verse 22, right. says a good man. Yes. Right. Excuse me, Michael Broadnack's translation, or a good woman leaves an inheritance to their children's children. A good man or a woman is not going to just look good on Sunday morning, but a good man or a good woman is going to leave something tangible for generations coming behind them. A good man or a good woman is not just going to have their name written on some title, but a good man and a good woman is going to leave something to unborn generations that will give them a sense of entitlement. A good man or a good woman is going to leave something to generations coming behind them that will let them know you can make it if you try. I wish I had time to call the roll of members in this church who down through the last seven years have testified to me how somebody older than them reached down and picked them up. And that's why now they have no problem reaching back and helping those who are trying to make it up the same highway. My brothers and my sisters, one glad morning, it's all going to be over. We're going to stand before a just judge who's got one question what did you do with the life I gave you what accomplishments did you make with the time I gave you on earth and somebody is going to be mistaken when they stand up and say Lord 
I grew up great big bank account. I had money running like water. I had stocks and bonds. I had IRAs and other retirement pensions. And when my latter days came, they were better than my former days. And the Lord's gonna say, depart from me. I don't know your name. Somebody else is going to say, Lord, I was a great church man or a great church woman. I was president of this and director of that. I passed it over here and I passed it over there. And the Lord's going to say, depart from me. I don't know your name. Y'all looking crazy at me. Why, Lord? Because when I was hungry, you did not feed me. When I was outdoors, you didn't care about me. When I was suffering, trying to make it through, you passed by me because you didn't have time for me. But oh, my brothers and sisters, some folk that you look down your nose at and don't think they'll ever become anything. If you make it in, they're gonna be at the door saying, welcome to my father's house. Y'all don't hear me. I never made the president of the board. I never became the lead soloist. I never did have my name on the roll. But oh, I live my life as a living testimony that whatever you need God to do, if you trust and obey, there's no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and obey. Yes, yes, I'm glad this morning I made up my mind. I might not ever achieve a million dollars. I might not ever be the bishop in the African Methodist Episcopal Church. I might not ever, y'all don't hear me, be able to ascend to the major pulpits across the land. But if I can help, Somebody, as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word or a song, if I can show somebody that they're traveling wrong, then my living won't be in vain. Yes, yes. Aren't you glad that when it's all said and done, it's not what Negroes say, it's what the Lord says. And somebody said, he'll understand and say, well done. Well done. Well done. I just want to hear him say, well done. Come on.